Hey guys, I'm Nikki, the creator, making manifestation super simple for you guys. Welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about trust. But before we get started, click the link down below to my VIP group. I literally get personal in that group. I answer daily, I post daily, and I will do personalized um, Q&A lives in my VIP group. Um, so join, all right? So let's get started with the word trust and why I'm talking about trust. So a lot of you have stumbled across the law of assumption where you realize the power of your mind and it's basically neuroscience you know whatever thoughts you repetitively have you will see it reflected back to you materialize into your 3d world right and so on this journey you realize you have all this power to create and Sometimes the simple fact of you've been doing this your whole life is forgotten because now you're consciously doing it. And then all the questions and the doubts start to roll in. Like, can I do this? Is it possible to do that? Okay, but how many times I got to do this? But should I do it their way? And all these questions, when before you even became aware of the law of assumption, before you even became aware that you can consciously and deliberately direct your thoughts, you were doing it your whole life. And so you throw trust out the window because you have all this knowledge and super aware of the fact that you can deliberately direct your life in the way that you want. And you start to fall trap um, to those thoughts that, I don't know if this is possible when before that was never an issue. I want you to think back before you became aware of deliberately directing your thoughts and certain events that happened in your life. And I want you to connect the dots of what you was thinking during that time. And so I will give an example. There was a year that um, I was applying for a new program. I switched my program from graduate school into something else. I didn't really want to go, but at this time, my father was still in his strict era, right? And so I was like, damn, I got to go. I got to go to school. I got to go to school. I got to go to school. Now, I didn't know anything about law of assumption then. I didn't know anything about directing your thoughts, but I remember that time I was like, well, I don't want to get yelled at, so let me just try to get into this program. And I was literally maybe two weeks away from the deadline. And you guys know if you if you do go to school, like it's a whole bunch of moving pieces to put in for the application. But I remember during that time, all I got, all I said was, I got to get in. I got to get in. I'm getting into the school. I'm getting into the school. And I only applied to one school. I'll put that out there for you guys. So I'm applying to one school on a time crunch. I didn't even know about anything about deliberately directing your thoughts. I remember that time period because that was probably like one of the most anxious times. Hence why you don't need feelings. You just need your thoughts. And I just kept saying, I got to get into the school. I said, I got to get into the school. And I would play around with also saying, oh, I'm getting into the school. I didn't know like words matter. I just was saying what would make me feel better as I got all these things to put in for the application. And yes, I did get into the school. And yes, I got into the program that I wanted. And I did not know about manifestation then. But when I think back on that situation, I'm like, wow, that happened because I literally crammed my mind with, I got to get into the school. I got to get into the school. I got to get into the school. And so that's why when we come into deliberately knowing we can direct our thoughts and you guys are questioning like, can I manifest this? Can I do this? Is it possible to do this? You've been doing it. I'm literally just a coach teaching you this information. You don't have to buy coaching. You don't have to do any of that. If you want to, that's on you. If like you want to feel like you need a little bit more guidance, but I'm reminding you guys to trust yourself. This has been, has always been. This is not new. This is not a trend. The things that people are doing like with the water and the 369 and the 55, I, that's, I don't resonate. What I'm talking about is deliberately directing your thoughts in the direction that you want it to go to experience a different life. We've been doing this. Think about the times that your thoughts were super negative. Like I'm unlucky. I never win in relationships. And tell me what your relationship looked like during that time period. It reflected your thoughts. This video is to remind you to trust yourself. Not just trust that there's always movement and that trust in the unseen, but trust yourself. You've been doing this before I ever made a video, ever made videos, before any of us ever made videos. 
You've been doing this. And that simple fact should let you know that you've always been po powerful. If you can create the unwanted, you can create the wanted. All that is required of you is discipline. You're not going to be motivated every day, but discipline and persistence. What is persistence? If you get told a no, you go, no, I can have exactly what I want. And you go right back into repeating your new story. That's it, guys. You need to trust yourself. Step into that. And just repeat your affirmations, repeat your new story and make it a habit. Make it a habit that your thoughts are running on the loop of things work out for you. If you don't have any specific things that you want, you can be saying everything always works out in my favor. Everything always works out for me. Everything in my life is perfect. I am so lucky. Good things are always happening to me. I always get what I want. I always get what I want quickly. These should be your thoughts. If you're religious, I am so blessed. Everything that I touch flourishes. I am favored for those of you who are more on the religious side. Guys, step into your power and trust yourself. All right? You can have anything that you want. All right? I'm Nikki the Creator and I will be back.